everybody, it's Cinnamon Cooney, and I wanted to share with you my top 10 favorite must-have picks from this year's Art Materials World that was held by NAMTA. It was actually in Houston, so it was super fun and easy for me to go, and I decided to go and check out what was new in Art Materials. If you're not familiar, Art Materials World is where paint manufacturers and distributors come together. So you have to be in the industry, and because I'm on YouTube and I talk about Art Materials, I got to be a member, which was pretty exciting and really informative. So we're gonna go through my top 10 list. I'm gonna tell you about what I like, and hopefully you're gonna find something new that you're excited about too, because I really want all this stuff. The first thing that I wanted to tell you with the, is the Crescent. The Crescent Render Pad. Now the Crescent Render Pad, see this cute little black box right here, is amazing. It looks like a regular pad. It seems like a regular drawing pad, but it has special properties. When this was demoed to me, I was so excited about it because I'm going to use one of my favorite pens from the show. You can color, 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 color. And it does not, look at this, bleed through. It doesn't bleed through at all. I can do this with a Sharpie. I can do this with a pencil. I can do this all day. The pen I was doing this with, and this one they gave this to me because we have the black light show, is by Iron Lock. A lot of pens at the art materials show, like a lot of pens. But these paint pens, when I tested the different samples that they had there, had an incredible pigment load, like insane. Iron Lock specializes in spray paints and these amazing paint pens. The mechanism seemed to work really well. The paint loads in them were very effective. I probably am going to get myself a set. The next pen I got really excited about was by Spectrum Noir and um, that's another gonna get myself the complete set just to have in my own studio. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit and I'm gonna do it again in my render pad and hopefully you'll be able to see that these glitter pens had so much glitter and I thought of May May when I was thinking about this because I was like wow this is finally glitter Right, and look, I can just totally soak the paper with it that May May will be like loving, right? Look at the look at the back of this. Did you see me drop the ink on there and still nothing? If you have somebody that's into drawing or doodling or doing Zen tangles, one of these pads, they're by Crescent, they're by Render. You can just ask for it at your local distributor, like your local craft store or art store. And they can order this for you. You can also go online and get it. I would totally recommend it. I really also think the complete set of these were insane. This company had a really cool storage system, which they did not give me as a sample, but I did see and I thought was super exciting. Then, of course, I did see my friends over at Simply Simmons, the Dollar Rally booth. That was a lot of fun. I met a great artist. Of course, we saw Rachel. And everything there was really exciting. And we talked about some exciting projects to do together. And I found a lot of things there that I wanted to see into the future. And I still left the show loving my Simply Simmons extra firm filament brushes. So that was kind of an interesting development. This here was really exciting for me. You can see this right here. See this right here? This was amazing. This is three blocks. And they come together and they make a canvas. This is printed on fine canvas by... Fredericks, right? Which I've talked to you guys about when I'm always like, well, if you don't want to worry about it, you buy a Fredericks canvas and then it's not a concern. You don't have to think about if I have to refinish or anything because Fredericks is such a good company. Well, they make this. I got to meet the artist and I was pretty excited to meet her. There's the Fredericks thing. And her name was Annie. They're going to be, this is an upcoming product. So if you want to see this at your local retailer, go in and say, I want the new Fredericks drawn. Just go in and say, I really like that idea because I could see you guys sitting down and hanging out with your friends and doing these panels. It just, it just seems like a natural extension of what's going on in coloring right now, but the product quality was like amazing. I got to play with Annie and get to know her. She made some amazing designs and I just that the whole direction of where this was going. The only thing that they could have done that impressed me more is if they had them be ginormous. I would have loved that. 
Next surprise that I had was, believe it or not, at the Elmer's Glue and Product Booth. Best booth, best gals, love them to death. And they were demoing this glue gun. And you think to yourself, glue gun? They had this really incredible glue gun. Why is this glue gun special? Why would I mention a glue gun to you? Well, I have to make my hats, as you well know, and I do a lot of glue gun projects, and I have a lot of feelings about glue guns, and most of them, frankly, are not good. They're like a necessary evil in my craft room and mostly a source of injury. But there's been a bunch of features done into this. This thing doesn't tip over. It doesn't leak out. She had one that was running like all day for days, and it had no problems. This tip really prevents burns, and guess what it didn't have? It didn't have a bunch of stringies and it did high temp, low temp. I am super excited about this. At first, John was like, is this the glue gun by Elmer? And then by the time we were done, he was like, that actually is amazing. So I think if you see this, it at least at the show, I was like blown away and I grabbed as many samples as they would let me have before I ran out. The next amazing company, and there's this, this is a must have product, product to me. I, when I saw it demoed, we're gonna show you a little film right here. Okay. Third one. So you just saw that, isn't that amazing? This palette that fits on your thumb that you use with the watercolor pencils was incredible, wasn't it? Wasn't everything he did amazing? Now I looked at all their product, I really got into it. what, what it was. These Museum Aquel, these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful watercolor pencils. This is by Caron de Osh. And I actually looked at this, this is a Swiss company, right? Which you know by the little plus sign that they had there. What do we know about Swiss? Switzerland, right? We know like they make great things, they're craftsmen. Well, apparently this tradition carries on in these art supplies and fine writing instruments. Um, they have a really great website, which is what I tell you wherever you are, whatever you're doing, find a company that has a website and support. They had all of that. There were so many products I really, really loved. I honestly um, wanted to just grab everything at their booth. They gave me all this stuff, which was just super fun on the samples and I'm totally enjoying. But this thing, I'm just saying, if you're doing the watercolor pencils or crap or any of that, any of the ink tents, I'm thinking you guys need one of these. Wasn't that video like incredible? I I was just sitting there like this the whole time. Just and, and I really pleaded with them to, get, to let me demo that um, little palette. I imagine this is gonna be one of those things that's in my studio for the rest of my life that I totally adore. <laughs> The next exciting thing I found was this, Grex, fluorescent purple. Now I've talked to you guys a lot about the fluorescent purples being non-existent in blacklight painting, but this particular airbrush company makes its own paint and it makes this insane airbrush. If you have an airbrush artist in your life, I have to say I was really surprised at this airbrush. I hadn't seen anything like it. It was a system instead of that you had to buy like six airbrushes for different things. Um, it, it kind of reminded me of, um, the, like the KitchenAid kind of thing where parts came on and off, but it was really well made and I really enjoyed it. So definitely that was something I felt like everybody needed to have. And then my last two mentions from the art material show. So it was interesting. I came in and yeah, I did see a lot of acrylic products that I was excited about. But for me, my takeaway, my magic moment was between... Um, these two kind of titans of paint. So uh, I actually got to meet Mark Golden, which was amazing, and I loved it. And I have to tell you that I had the best time at their booth. They've got all kinds of great products, and I got to know everybody, and I really got excited about the core watercolors. I've been looking at those because in watercolor, it I means it's the same thing forever and ever, right? It's gum Arabic. But these core watercolors are completely new product. They are innovative. They're based on a relationship between Golden and people that do art conservation and the kinds of things that they've learned. I was even given a pen. This is an official booth pen. I was given by Chris over in marketing. I didn't say any branding, but that's what it is. I got really, really excited about this. And what I'm gonna say is, is that Mark was the nicest man. Like, so about it. And 
my big takeaway from the show was as I went to each of these companies and I got to know them, I met the makers of these products and they were makers. The people that make the paint, they're makers, right? Mark Golden, he's a maker. Like he cares about what he makes and he couldn't be nicer. These guys making the airbrush, they cared about what they were making. The pen makers, the Fredericks, I, I'm the owners of this amazing institution in art were there. And what do you know? They were just complete sweetie pies and really just about art for artists. And then I also ran into something I hadn't seen. Um, so I, in my own thing, I use grounds to, in my own art practice, I use grounds. And I everyone has told me I need to get Daniel Smith grounds. So I was introduced over at the booth and I did initially get all these fabulous grounds. See these grounds, they're amazing. What's incredible about these grounds is they prepare a surface to take paint. They prepare a glass surface to take paint. They prepare a rock to take paint. They prepare your paper to take paint and allows a watercolors to have a different surface, right? Well, beyond that, notice these little gemstones here and all this stuff. Look at this walnut ink. Guess what this walnut ink is made out of? Walnuts. This story of this paint, and I'm gonna just show you different things, is the, it's magic. And I was like really, really blown away, right? This paint, so I got to talk with John Cogley for a good long bit and I can't tell you everything he said about what he did with his paint because kind of like Willy Wonka, uh, it's a secret factory and he has unusual processes. And the reason there were gemstones all over his booth is the paint is made with these. It's made with these, I was given these gorgeous cards, these sample cards that you can get from Daniel Smith have paint daubs on them and you can try these paints. The story behind this paint is amazing. And this Primatech, which I'm bananas about, that, that I am going like crazy for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a bunch of it too. It's made with gemstones. Can you see this right here? It's made with real gemstones. Like they have a whole process for gemstone. Now, I feel like uh, Mark Golden was a little bit like, you know, like Santa Claus, like it was like the North Pole and like this really wonderful magical workshop. And I, and I felt like over at the Daniel Smith thing, it was like Willy Wonka. But one of the things that both of these people had in common, and I just felt like every single manufacturer I met, uh, people making these art products was that they were magical, involved, creative people that really cared about what your experience is. And I was like, you know, that's what it's about is these makers are just trying to get what they are passionate about which is what we're passionate about to us you know and then we just sort of deal with the distributors to get the product if you're into watercolor gosh i wholly suggest that you check out both of these products i think that they're super exciting i'm excited to have them in my studio i literally got myself a new watercolor book just to play with this because i was so thrilled just, just for my free time, like what I would do with my free time, I'm gonna be doing this. Every one of these things I thought was amazing. I was so glad I went to the show. I was so glad that I met these manufacturers because it's a very different experience than when you deal with a distributor. When you go into a store and you buy something, it's one experience, but when you talk to somebody that makes this, when you talk to somebody that makes this ground and it's their passion project, and they did it to solve the problem of artists around the world, right? When you talk to somebody that makes this paint, right? This fabulous paint, and they're trying to solve the problems of artists around the world. Now these guys tried to solve these problems differently, right? This is this is kind of techie and sciencey, and this is sort of old world, but they were both com completely committed to your experience, which was awesome on every level. And I could say that about everything on the table here. These render pads, they believe in this. They're like proud to show you. Look, it has still not bled through. Look at that. I loaded all that ink there and it still hasn't bled through. Of course they're proud of it. So I will include, as I always do, in the links below information about this. I hope you enjoy our kind of speed walkthrough of the show floor so you can get a sense of what it was like to be there. I really appreciated being there. I appreciated everybody who took time to talk to us and explain all about what they make and why they make it. It was the most heartening, incredible experience for me. And I hope to go every year. I just was really delighted. 
So hopefully you found something to be excited about and I'm gonna see you guys at the easel really soon, maybe with some of this stuff. All right, bye-bye.